Have you ever wondered if the sands of time could speak, what tales they might unfold? Tales of immense courage, unwavering faith, and hard-earned wisdom. What if I told you that one such story, an epic from the dawn of time, holds the keys to modern success? Would you dare to listen? In our relentless pursuit of success, we often look to books, seminars, and industry leaders for guidance. But what if the most potent wisdom lies not in the future, but the past? Not in the latest technology, but in a timeless tome? Let's travel back. Back to the cradle of civilization, to a man named Job. A man of immense wealth and prestige. A man who, despite losing everything, managed to regain more than he ever had. His story, chronicled in the oldest book of the Bible, is a goldmine of strategic insights that remains startlingly relevant to our modern business world. Today, we delve into the life of Job, drawing out 10 strategies etched in his trials, his triumphs, and his extraordinary faith. Strategies that have the power to transform the way you do business, the way you view success, the way you navigate the intricacies of entrepreneurship. Are you ready to journey through the sands of time to unearth wisdom that could redefine your future? Join us as we decode this ancient wisdom and learn how to apply it in our pursuit of success. This, dear friends, is more than just a story. It's a blueprint for success, a guide for the resilient, a beacon for the ambitious. Welcome to 10 Business Strategies Learned from the Book of Job. Stay with us, and let's embrace this journey together. The first strategy we draw from the life of Job is the power of humility. Humility is often misunderstood in our modern society, seen as a weakness rather than a strength. But let me ask you, have you ever considered that the strongest leaders are often those who are the most humble? From Mahatma Gandhi to Nelson Mandela, these were individuals who held enormous power yet chose to embrace humility. Job, too, understood this truth. Despite his vast wealth and status, he never lost sight of his humble beginnings or his mortality. When stripped of everything, he utters words that resound through the ages. Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked shall I return there. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Job 121. In the midst of extreme loss, Job's humility shines through. He acknowledges that all he had was not truly his, but was given to him. This is a powerful reminder for us, as entrepreneurs, to remember that our success is not entirely our own doing. It is a combination of our efforts, the efforts of those around us, and the opportunities that life presents to us. Humility allows us to appreciate our journey, to respect the contributions of others, and to remain open to learning and growth. It is the foundation of true leadership and lasting success. Remember, humility is not thinking less of yourself. It's thinking of yourself less. Humility is not about having a low self-esteem or devaluing your own worth. It is not about self-degradation or thinking that you are less capable or valuable than you actually are. Instead, humility is about shifting the focus away from yourself and onto others. It's about recognizing and appreciating the value and worth of others, being open to their perspectives, and being willing to learn from them. Embrace humility, and you embrace a strength that few possess, but all respect. Perseverance. It's the titan that stands tall when everything else crumbles. It's the unwavering force that carries us through the raging storms of life. In the face of adversity, Job didn't falter. When his world was crashing around him, he didn't waver. He stood firm. He showed us the power of perseverance. In Job 2.10, he asked, Shall we indeed accept good from God and not accept adversity? Just like Job, as entrepreneurs, we too will face our share of trials. But it's in these times of adversity where our resolve is tested and our true character is revealed. It's not about avoiding the storms, but learning to dance in the rain. So, even when the journey gets tough, remember Job. Remember his tenacity. Hold on to your purpose and keep pushing forward. For it's the trials we overcome that shape us, mold us, and ultimately make us stronger. Now, let's delve deeper into the next strategy inspired by the book of Job. In a world filled with noise, it's the whispers of wisdom that guide us. When Job was in his darkest hour, three friends came to him, Eliphaz, Bildad, and Zophar. They sat with him in his pain, as stated in Job 2 verse 11. Although their counsel was flawed, 
Their intention to provide comfort reminds us of the importance of seeking wise counsel. As entrepreneurs, we are not alone in our journey. There are those who have walked the path before us, those who can offer sage advice, and those who can help us see the bigger picture. Our strength lies not only in our own knowledge and skills, but also in our ability to listen, learn, and seek guidance. So in your journey, surround yourself with the wise, seek their counsel, listen to their experiences, learn from their wisdom, and remember, the wise person knows that there is always something to learn from others. Are you ready to delve into our next strategy? Let's continue on this journey of strategic wisdom and discovery. In the battlefield of life, what is the weapon that you wield? What is the armor that you carry? Job, in the midst of his afflictions, stated in verse 5 of chapter 27, Far be it from me that I should say you are right. Till I die I will not put away my integrity from me. A powerful declaration of his unwavering commitment to truth and integrity. As Christian entrepreneurs, we are called to uphold the same standard. The world may tempt you with shortcuts and easy gains, but remember, our shield is truth, our armor is integrity. It's not about the success we gain, but the way we gain it. By holding fast to integrity, we not only safeguard our own peace, but also build a business that reflects God's principles. Let's continue to explore these biblical strategies, and together, we'll discover the transformative power they can have on our entrepreneurial journey. In the wilderness of uncertainty, where do you look for guidance? Whose voice do you heed? Job, in the midst of his trials, understood the supreme wisdom of God. He stated in verse 28 of chapter 28, And to man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. As Christian entrepreneurs, we must trust in divine wisdom, knowing that God's insight surpasses all human understanding. We are not alone in our decisions. When we fear the Lord and shun evil, we align ourselves with His divine wisdom. It's not just about the decisions we make, but the wisdom with which we make them. By trusting in God's wisdom, we navigate our businesses in alignment with His divine plan. Let's continue to delve deeper into the timeless wisdom of Job's experiences, drawing lessons that can truly transform our entrepreneurial journey. Have you ever felt the ground beneath you shift, the certainty of your world crumble? In such moments, where do you turn? Job, amidst his trials, found solace in a divine conversation. In verse 10 of chapter 42, Job shows us the transformational power of prayer. It reads, And the Lord restored Job's losses when he prayed for his friends. Indeed, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. As Christian entrepreneurs, we wield the power of prayer, not as a last resort, but as a first response. This intimate communion with God brings about restoration, not just in our personal lives, but in our businesses as well. Pray for your partners, your clients, your colleagues, and watch the miracles unfold. Let us not underestimate the power of prayer in our entrepreneurial journey. As we continue, we delve deeper into the extraordinary wisdom that Job's trials offer us. There are moments in life when we are brought to our knees, not to be defeated, but to discover something about ourselves that we were too busy to notice. Job experienced such an awakening. Verse 6 of chapter 42 in the book of Job reads, Therefore I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. It was a moment of self-realization, an acknowledgement of the need for growth. As Christian entrepreneurs, we must be willing to confront our limitations, learn from our missteps, and commit ourselves to growth. Job, in his trials, became the phoenix rising from the ashes, stronger and wiser. Embrace the lessons hidden in failures, and remember, in every ending, there is a new beginning. Let's press on and delve further into the extraordinary wisdom gleaned from Job's trials. When the storm subsided, when the tears dried, Job looked around and found restoration. It was as though the sun emerged, bright and hopeful, after the most tumultuous storm. Verse 10 in chapter 42 of the book of Job reads, And the Lord restored Job's losses when he prayed for his friends. Indeed, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. A profound reminder that restoration follows tribulation. As Christian entrepreneurs, we must anticipate restoration. The seasons of drought do not last forever, and the rains of restoration are but a prayer away. Expect the good, and accept the blessings when they come. 
In the ebb and flow of life and business, let's remember, the tides of fortune will turn. Stay with us as we continue to explore the timeless lessons from the book of Job. From the depth of adversity Job rose, and when he rose, he did not rise alone. He brought with him those who stood by his side, those who shared his name. Verse 15 in chapter 42 of the book of Job tells us, In all the land were found no women so beautiful as the daughters of Job, and their father gave them an inheritance among their brothers, a testament to Job's generosity. As Christian entrepreneurs, we are called not only to generate wealth, but to distribute our blessings as well. True wealth is not held but shared, multiplied in the act of giving. Our businesses are not islands, but ships, and as they rise with the tide, so should those around us. The story of Job continues to inspire and teach us, even in our modern world. Stay with us as we unveil the final strategy derived from the life of this extraordinary man. At the twilight of his life, Job's trials were but distant echoes. He lived to see four generations, his children and his children's children. His wealth was not only in his possessions, but in the lives he touched and the legacy he left. Verses 16 and 17 in chapter 42 of the book of Job tell us, After this Job lived 140 years, and saw his children, and his children's children, to the fourth generation. So Job died, being old and full of days. His life was a testament to the enduring power of faith, resilience, and wisdom. As Christian entrepreneurs, our journey doesn't end with us. We are but stewards of our businesses, tasked with ensuring they endure and continue to create wealth, not just in our lifetimes, but beyond. Our true measure is not in the lifespan of our enterprises, but in the legacy they leave. As we draw this journey to a close, let us not forget the lessons we've learned from Job's life. His story is our story, his triumphs and trials, a mirror of our own. As we forge ahead in our own entrepreneurial paths, let us do so with humility, wisdom, and a commitment to leaving a lasting legacy. We've journeyed through the life of Job, a man who embodied the essence of humility, perseverance, and divine wisdom. His story teaches us not only about enduring trials, but also about how to run our businesses with integrity, empathy, and faith. Whether it's the power of prayer, the importance of wise counsel, or the courage to grow from our experiences, Job's life serves as a blueprint for success in our spiritual entrepreneurial journey. If you found value in this journey, I encourage you to subscribe to the Godly Grind YouTube channel. We delve into the Bible's rich trove of wisdom and extract practical lessons for our businesses. If you're a Christian entrepreneur seeking to align your business with your faith, this is the place for you. Click on the subscribe button now and join us as we continue exploring the intersection of faith and entrepreneurship. Let's walk this path together, guided by God's watchful eye and the enduring wisdom of the scriptures.